How's it going? This is Christian Espinoza. In this video, we'll go over how to install an FTP server on Windows 10. Uh, for our setup right here, I have Windows 10 Enterprise running in VirtualBox. It doesn't really matter how you have Windows 10 or which version of Windows 10 you have running. It's the same process. So we're going to download and install FileZilla. FileZilla is an FTP server. So we'll download that, the FileZilla server software. <clears throat> we'll set up that by adding the user. We'll create a password for the user. We'll add a home directory for that user. And then we'll do a test. So we'll install the software, add the user. So the idea is once we install it, we can test it by logging on to the FTP server with that user, that user's password, and we should be dropped into the user's home directory. Also, a future video, um, will future videos, uh, will, as it says here, We'll go over, once we have this set up, how to discover this service using InMap or a vulnerability assessment tool such as OpenVAS or Nessus, and then also how to do some online password cracking attempts once we know a username for the FTP service. All right, so let's get started. So first, we're going to go to filezilla-project.org, click on Download FileZilla Server, Click on the green box here, download FileZilla server again. It's only about, let's see, 2.1 meg or so. We can click, go ahead and click on run. It shouldn't take very long at all to install. You can do all the defaults, so yes. I agree, next, 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 install. <clears throat> We see the little FileZilla icon popped up over there. Close, and it should automatically bring up the management interface. So you can click on connect here. And from here, this is where we're going to add a user, a password, and set the user's home directory. So let's go to edit, users. Let's go to shared folders first. And we're gonna add a shared folder after we add the user. Uh, we don't have a shared folder set up on the system though, so I'm going to go to File Explorer, and the user we're going to add is Iceman, so I'm going to create a folder for Iceman uh, right here on the C drive. We'll call it naturally Top Gun. So the idea is when Iceman FTPs the server, Iceman we, will be dropped into the Top Gun folder. And we'll create a file here as well real quick, uh, just a text document, um, how to take out maverick.txt. All right, so, so now I'm gonna add a user. So we'll add Iceman. We do not need to put Iceman in a group, that's okay. I'm going to add the folder we just selected, we just created, the Top Gun folder. So this is Iceman's home directory, that's the H. And we're also gonna give Iceman read, write, delete permissions to anything in that folder, as well as the ability to create or delete direct directories within that folder. Set a password for Iceman. So I forgot to go to general. So we enabled the account Iceman, click on password here, and let's create a password. All right, so we created a password there. Now let's test it to see if it's working. So there's two ways to test it. We can test it through a browser or we can test it through a command line. So the first test we'll do is through the browser. So let's go over here to Edge, which we already have open. We'll go to new tab, we'll do FTP, and we're gonna test it to the local host, 127.0.0.1. So FTP, colon, forward slash, forward slash, 127.001, or you can type in localhost. And it looks like it didn't work here. Um, so we got a message here though. So it tried to log on anonymously. Uh, so we, we know that the server's working, and that's the other cool thing about FileZilla. It gives you some pretty good logging details here. So the browser, Edge, tried to log on with anonymous <clears throat> and a password. So that didn't work because we didn't allow anonymous logins. We only allowed Iceman to log in with uh, a password. So let's go to the 
command prompt, so cmd, and let's try FTP space FTP, sorry, space uh, 127.0.0.1. Now it's asking us for the user. The username is Iceman. The password is Maverick is lame is what I made it. So we're logged on. So now we should be dropped in the Top Gun folder and we put a single file there. So I can do an LS here and we see how to take out maverick.txt.txt. I added .txt to it and forgot to re show the extensions. Um, but now we can actually re remove that file if we want to, uh, and we can do whatever we want. We have access, uh, authenticated access to that directory. So that proves our FTP server is working. In another video later on, we'll discover the FTP server using MMAP or, vulner or, or vulnerability assessment tool, and then we'll go through how to uh, break the password.